In the following video, I'm going to go through an introduction of Clo, the windows within it, and their various uses. First, on the left, we have the library window. The library allows you to link folders from within your computer directly to your program. It also comes with some default folders that have items that you can use, such as some garments, some default avatars, some shoes, poses, and hairs for the different avatars, and, and fabric folders. And there's also a motion folder for our, our animation mode. But generally, you can just think of the library as a quick access menu to folders that you need to work with, so you don't have to constantly go through file open or file import to bring things into your workspace. Here I have some folders with assets that are just on my computer that I can then put onto fabrics or whatever I'm working with at the moment. You can also toggle between list view and icon view by clicking on the little symbol above your preview window. So to link a folder to your library, you simply left click on this little plus sign here in the rightish corner of the library window, you'll see the word add. Then a browsing window will open up and you can navigate to the folder that you need. You can just click on the folder once it's highlighted, then you can click select folder. Then it will link that folder and everything inside of it will be viewable within your library. Also, you may have noticed that there is always one blank folder with two little dots below it in whatever folder you are in. You're always going to see this. This is your back button. This will take you back one folder from where you currently are. So if I click into this folder called Arrangement, if I double click here, this will bring me back into the entire core folder that is linked to the library. Next, in the middle area, we have the two main windows. On the left, we have the 3D window, and above it, the 3D toolbar. And on the right, we have the 2D window, and above that, the 2D toolbar. So for the most part, the tools in the 3D toolbar generally work only in the 3D window, but some are cross-functional and vice versa. Some of the tools in the 2D toolbar are also cross-functional, but many of them really only work in the 2D window. Then on the far right, we have the object browser. The object browser has various tabs it's like a library of items that you'll be able to work with that are built into the program. So we have a button tab. You can create, build, and customize buttons. Your fabric tab is here, top stitches. All of this stuff will be created here as an item, and then you can use it on your garment when you're working. Next, I'm going to explain the property editor. In order to do this, I'm going to open up a file to help me explain some things. So I have a folder linked to my library. I can double left click on that folder. And then left double click to open this file. So depending on what you have selected in either your 2D or 3D window, you will see different properties for different things. So here I have fabric selected. I see all the properties that I can change about my fabric. If I click on my avatar, I have a different set of properties for that. If I click on some hardware in my 3D window, there are different properties for that. Think of it as a control center or a dashboard to edit your materials. The various tabs in the object browser also have items that you will customize by selecting them and editing things in the property editor. 
And lastly to note about the windows in general is that they are all collapsible and movable and removable. So the library on the left hand side has this little arrow over here that if you click on it, it will collapse the library into the left side. There's a shortcut for this, and that is hitting the letter Y on your keyboard. So if you just hit Y, it will open and close the library window. All of these center bars are movable, so sometimes some tools may be hidden in your toolbar and you can't see them, basically because it's just not expanded enough. If you move this around, you'll have access to those. All of the tools also, they have little, these little lines in the middle of them. If you click on that and grab it, you can detach tools. And move them to a center toolbar or wherever you really want them. The 2D and 3D window also completely detach and can be moved onto another screen or flipped around. The object browser and the property editor can also be collapsed onto the right side of the window and you can click on them to expand them back open. If at any point you want to reset your window or you may have lost some things and you don't know what happened, just click on the reset button at the bottom corner. If you click on that, it will reset everything back to the default layout of the program. We also have some icons that allow you to isolate the 3D window, 2D window, bring both windows back up, and the reset layout button. That concludes this introduction of the windows within CLO.